Hey guys, Caroline from carolineevents.com here today, and I'm going to teach you guys something cool about blogging. So before we get into all of that fun stuff, be sure to like this video, leave a question if you have any in the comments, and be sure to subscribe to the channel for a new video almost every single day. Let's get into it. Have you ever heard of Pretty Links? If not, this is one of those blog plugins that you're going to want to use again and again and again for everything going forward. But it's actually kind of a little controversial but I'm going to kind of put that to rest. So let's go over to the video and I can tell you all about why you need to use this little plugin called Pretty Links. As I keep hearing about Pretty Links and while almost everyone I know uses them, I heard some people say that it's bad for your site speed. So I have two questions. Should I use Pretty Links and what do I even use Pretty Links for? Okay, so if you guys do not know what Pretty Links is, um, I can literally, let's see pencil.com slash um, Instagram. This is my IG. That's what I set up as my pretty link. And it goes directly here to this page. I can go to carolinemencil.com slash let's do Bluehost. It's another one that I always say. It's right off the top of my head. And it will take you directly to Bluehost and with my coupon code and with my affiliate link so that I can tell people about the sites that I use so that I can direct people to different places to get different resources, to sign up for affiliates, all of these different things, because it's easier for them to remember carolinevenzel.com slash bluehost or carolinevenzel.com slash IG than it is to remember beacons.io slash at carolinevenzel or bluehost.com forward slash ref equals one, two, three, four. Do you know what I mean? As far as affiliate links go, it just makes it really easy. I really love pretty links. It makes it super easy to change links. If an affiliate changes their links, this does happen a lot. Um, not like a lot, a lot, but it has happened enough over the course of my blogging career that I realized that having a way to change all of your affiliate links inside of all of your blog posts from one place is super super valuable. 100% not even a question. This is super valuable. Because one of the things is, if somebody does change their affiliate link, let's say that they went from um, share a sale to cj.com, um, those affiliate links are going to change. And then I would have to go through all of my blog posts, change the individual links Make sure, like fingers crossed, that it's changed across the board. Same thing with emails. If I had those affiliate links inside of an email sequence that's evergreen, I might never find them because I have so many different email sequences and people might be clicking on these links and I don't get the credit for it. I don't get any referral income or affiliate income because that link changed and I didn't change it individually. By having pretty links, it makes it super easy for me to be able to change the affiliate links. I absolutely love it. It's also, like I said, easy to use and to call out using video. If you're starting to do any kind of video, you know that short form video, I won't, I won't, I promise I won't hammer you over the head, but you know that short form video is the way to go. You know that video is a big deal. Even when I'm recording my YouTube videos, I can say, hey guys, if you want help with your blog hosting, my favorite host is Bluehost. Go to carolinemencil.com slash Bluehost and you can sign up and get a special code or a special deal. See how easy that was? I don't have to even say like, go to the description below to click on that link because it's easy enough for me to say it and spell it out that they can just, oh, that was easy enough. And then they can go directly and click on it and search for it themselves. It just makes it a lot more simple than even having to say, go to the link in my bio. Like link in bio is awesome. Like, don't get me wrong. However, however, there's a lot of apps. Well, the two big ones, the TikTok and the Instagrams um, are making it so that if you say link in bio, they seem to be kind of throttling the reach on those videos because they don't want people to leave the platform. So if you were to say carolinevenzel.com slash IG instead, that might be something that you can do. Not always saying that it's going to work perfectly, but you know, it is a help if you need it. So as far as that stuff, it does help. So this is another one that is kind of cool as to why use pretty links. You can change deliverables. I'm going to use my FinCon example. Thank you, past Caroline, for writing this one out. 
So I was making my slide deck. I did a presentation at the conference that I went to um, a few weeks ago, FinCon. It was a lot of fun. But up until, I'm not going to lie, up until the um, day before my presentation, my freebie wasn't finished. My slide deck wasn't finished, which obviously is a problem. But I also needed to make sure that I had a way to give that to the people who were going to show up at the workshop. So I had made a pretty link, which was, let's see if this will, if it'll, if it'll work, um, FinCon slide deck. Is that a, is that a super sexy pretty link? No, it is not. No, it is not. But this is what the slide deck was. This is what it looks like. So I used that particular link. I sent that along with our presentation. And I said, this link will be active by the time our presentation happens. And so let's see, where is it? Here it is right here. This was the slide deck. This is the QR code with this pretty link. I didn't have to run around at the last minute to make sure that all of this stuff was perfect, that this link was working. I knew that this was working because it was inside of pretty links and all that people had to do, even though I set it up last minute, I wasn't going to leave my people hanging and not give them a slide deck that they needed. And so pretty links saved the day once again. Um, I think that as far as pretty links goes, like, you're talking, you would have to have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of them in order for it to slow down your site well beyond the point where it would be more detrimental to have it than it would be beneficial to have it. I think that as far as like the worry that it will slow down your site goes, I don't worry about that nearly as much as how helpful it is to me. So I, that's my two cents on it. I am a big fan of Pretty Links. They have saved my butt specifically when it comes to the affiliate changing things. Saved my butt so, so, so many times. So many times. Um, and if this is the only thing that you use it for is for your affiliate links so that you can remember it and so that you can change it all in one place if they change who they're using for their affiliate platform, it's worth it. It just is. So do I love pretty links? Yes. Do I think that you should use them? Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope that you learned a lot from that. Don't forget to check out the links inside of the description below to sign up for some cool freebies that you can get. And don't forget to like this video if you liked it and leave any questions that you have in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you want a new video every single day, we post a new video every single day. So I will see you guys next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.